we're going to evaluate 4 plus 4i to the sixth power and write it in a plus bi form. We're also going to use uh, de Moivre's theorem, with, which is if z equals r cosine theta plus i sine theta, then for any integer n, z to the n equals r to the n cosine n theta plus sine n theta. It's a beautiful theorem. It's very easy to use when uh, you're working with a problem like this. So let's use it. If I take a look at my original problem here, 4 plus 4i to the 6, that's a 6. It looks really tiny, but it is. I need to rewrite, I mean, if I used a mod theorem, I need to rewrite that complex number in polar form. So I have to think now my complex number z is actually 4 plus 4i, but this is an x and y or Cartesian form. So if I graph it on my little axis here, where this is the real number axis and this is the imaginary number axis, I write uh, 4 here and 4 here, and that distance right here is r, and that angle there is theta, and I just need to figure out what they are based on the fact that this length is 4 and this length down here is also 4. So what I have is a nice, lovely right triangle. I have to find r and theta based on the fact that's 4, that's 4, that's right, r and theta. What we're really doing here is just using the conversion between Cartesian to polar in order to find the r and theta needed to use de Moivre's theorem. So according to that conversion, I know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So in this case, that implies that r squared is equal to 4 squared, which is this side, plus 4 squared, which is this side. So r squared is equal to 16 plus 16. r squared is equal to 32. Oh, I'm sorry, 30, uh, 32 is right. I don't know why I wrote 36. So r is equal to square root of 32. Now, don't leave it like that. That can be simplified. You can write r as the square root of 16 times 2, and the square root of 16 is 4, square root of 2. So r is, for this complex number, r is 4 square root of 2. Now I have to come up with theta. I know that the tangent of theta, according to Sokotoa, is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta is 1. Now, what angle, if I use my little tiny unit circle here, what angle between minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, not including the endpoints, has a tangent that's equal to 1? Well, that's going to show up right here, and where theta is pi over 4. Because this is this line x equal y, has a slope of 1. Tangent represents the slope of the terminal side of an angle. So that's also where this angle here is 45 degrees, which is pi over 4. And we're going to use radians here. So r is 4 square root of 2, theta is pi over 4. All right, now I have my two numbers, so I'm going to use de Moivre's theorem here. Uh, and I'm going to, well, for, let's first write z in polar form. So z is now equal to 4 square root of 2, cosine pi over 4, plus i sine pi over 4. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't we just write down what pi over 4 is, sine of pi over 4 and cosine of pi over 4. Well, not yet. Not yet. That's not our main goal. Our main goal is to find z to the sixth power. That's what our goal is. So this is going to be equal to, if I use this formula now, all the n's become 6's. So I have 4 square root of 2 to the sixth times cosine of 6 times pi over 4. See, that changes things. Plus i sine. 6 times pi over 4. That 6, that power, goes inside the with the angle, so that's going to change what the external cosine or sine is. So again, don't evaluate this until you've put the power in there, in the angle. Just continuing simplifying. This becomes 4 to the 6 times square root of 2 to the 6th times cosine of, well, 6 times pi over 4 is 6 pi over 4. 
and simplifying that becomes 3 pi over 2. And then I sine 3 pi over 2 as well. Um, I did this on my calculator. Let's see. If you type 4 to the 6th power, well, let's see if I can actually open my calculator. If you type 4 to the 6th power in your calculator, you get uh, 4096. If you type square root of 2 to the 6th power, you get the nice round number of 8. Now I want to think about what the cosine of 3 pi over 2 and the sine of 3 pi over 2 is. So again, those are all standard angles. That's this angle right down here. So I know cosine down there at that point is 0 and sine is minus 1. So now just finishing one or two more steps. 4096 times 8. Let's see. 4096 times 8. Gives me three three two seven six eight. Three two seven six eight. And minus one times i is minus i. So in the end I get three two seven six eight times minus i, which is minus three two seven six eight times i. Now they say write this in a plus bi form. Well, that is an a plus bi form because the a value is zero. But just to be thorough, I'm going to write this as zero minus three two seven six eight to the i or times i, where a is equal to zero and b is equal to minus three two seven six eight.